Hi guys, welcome to Success Road. This is Sivaridi. Today we are discussing one more uh, Power BI interview question that is summarize versus group by group by tax functions. Let's see, we will enter into that function. First, uh, we will discuss summarize function. Uh, this summarize function is similar to group by function, group by class in SQL server, in SQL. If you are familiar with the uh, SQL, same group by how it will behave, same functionality here, it will behave it as a summarize function. Like uh, to getting the aggregated information, group wise aggregated information, are like a, to getting the to simply summarize information, group wise summarize information, then we can go with as a this group by class or summarize function, we can go with that. This summarize function, basically it will perform implicit calculations, implicit calculations in DAX level, in DAX level. Basically, like how, what kind of scenario we can, what kind of business scenario we can use this summarize function means. Let's say, for example, I want to fetch it as a department-wise total salary, job-wise total salary, product-wise maximum sales, product-wise maximum sales, country-wise like a profit such kind of scenarios uh, we can use it as a this summarize function like uh, here downside we have mentioned it as a syntax if we coming into this syntactical point of view first we need to represent it as a function next we need to mention it as a that group by column name if we are implementing group by column is one column as per business requirement if we are implementing the business operation is one column then you need to mention it as a one column if we are thinking to implement based on the col multiple columns then you can mention it as a multiple columns in dax uh, dax uh, in any word any in, in dax syntax level in any word it is having in square bracket that is optional that is optional up to that regard remaining thing we need to mention it as a mandatory remaining things we need to go with as a mandatory so now we can see that practical approach point of view practical approach point of view Okay, now here I'm thinking to extract the data into this Power BI. So for that, I'm going to I'm going to uh, SQL Server. From the SQL Server, I'm extracting the data. To fetching the server name, I'm using that SQL query. That is select address address server name. Here we will get it as the server name that I'm copying and then I'm coming into Power BI. Let's say I'm connecting to SQL Server. And then the database name is optional. Okay, let's see same import mode I'm using and then click on okay. Let's see here we have several databases. I'm using this database. From this database, I'm extracting employee table, EMP table. The table EMP table is loading into Power BI. Yes, it has loaded. See, for this, like uh, now my current requirement is, I'm thinking to fetch it as a job-wise total salary. Job-wise total salary, I need to fetch it. So, so for that, 
we need to use it as a, this summarize function. So for this summarize function, the return type, it has a table. So that I'm selecting here, it has a table. So I'm using DPT total sales equal to, this is our table name, equal to summarize of, first, if you observe the syntax, first we need to mention it as a table name. Our table name is EMP, comma, EMP, comma, then group by which column we are thinking to implement. So we are thinking to implement the group by operation and department number. So department number, then we need to provide for output column, we need to provide it as a alias name. That name are here we need to mention. Here, total salary. That we need to mention it as a double quotes that we need to mention it as a double quotes. And then we need to make it as the expression, expression, any expression, which, which are the thing, it will give it as the scalar value that we need to give. Now I'm thinking to take it as a sum of salary. So this is our expression. So see now I'm executing the query. So this will give the output. This will give the output. Let's say you are thinking to give that multiple columns, multiple columns. Let's see, for example, department wise, job wise, total salary if we required. So same thing if I want to implement like a, see, same query, same query. Like here, we need to add the multiple columns like a EMP department number comma EMP job comma total salary like if you if we execute this it will return it as a like a department wise job wise total salary if we want the department wise job wise minimum salary also then here we need to write i gain uh, the name and expression min salary minimum salary comma the expression min of employee salary that we need to make it. So now it will return the department wise, job wise, total salary, minimum salary. So this is the summarize function. Let's see if we go with uh, like a group by function, group by function, it is similar to, similar to this summarize function. This group by function, like how to fetching the summarize table information, summarize table information in DAX level, we have two types of functions. That is one is the summarize and another one is group by. Like uh, this group by will not do that implicit calculations. Uh, this to do that implicit calculation in group by function, we need to use it as a current group current group that current group will use all uh, current group will use that supported information supported information this uh, current group uh, basically will supported the functions like x aggregated functions x aggregated functions like sum max min x max x average x like count x count ax like such kind of functions it will support. For this also written type, it has a table. Now we can see how it will behave. Okay, see now I'm taking it as a new table.
so new table name i'm implementing depd total underscore group by before equal to whatever the thing we will write that it will behave it as a table name so here group by group by like uh, the table name we need to write see the table name table name is emp and then which column we are thinking to implement let's see as i said previous example same i'm implementing department wise total salary let's say here i'm thinking to implement sum of or else like the group by column name 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 we need to write name i'm thinking to mention same thing total salary total salary and then expression see here while writing the expression here if you write sum of emp salary see now we can observe what it will give the output see this scalar expressions uh, it won't work it won't work so for this uh, some like a scalar expressions anything it won't work even though the calculate function like it's any kind of thing it won't work see now this will be throwing it as an error see current group we need to use if we are using this group by function we need to use it as a current to group so current to group using purpose either we can need to use this x functions some x of the table name we need to write it as a current group comma like a, that emp of salary see now it will give the output same whatever the thing it is given same it will work see here mandatory to mention it as a current group what it will do that current group means whenever we are using this current group based on this employee table and this aggregated column aggregated column duplicate column it will take the group of values group of values for this group of values it will perform it as a this e total value this function it will implement with this so this is the thing will happen the group by and summarize function so performance wise so basically we can go with as a this summarize function summarize function so some situations are we need to use it as a this group by at what scenario we can use means whenever we are doing this nested aggregations uh, nested aggregations then we can use it as a this group by function group by group by function see here first we are taking it as a product category wise sub category wise average sales we are calculating on top of that we are performing we are thinking to performing it as a like a maximum sales is maximum sales we are thinking to calculate it if we write this kind of expression it will throw it as a error if we write this expression this expression it will throw it as a error so 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 we cannot use this so we cannot use this so whenever we are writing this nested aggregations so we can go with as a we can go with as a this group by class basically the summarize function will work on top of direct table columns but these summarize this group by function group by function here we are using it as a current to group function so current to group of function so that's why that's why it will allow it as a 
it will allow to work it as a this nested aggregations nested aggregations kind of activity that this is the major difference between group by and summarize functions once again i am repeating the simple way the summarize function will not do that sorry summarize function will do that implicit operations group by function will not do that implicit operation and summarize function will support to do that roll up activities this uh, group by function will support to do that subtotals kind of information subtotals kind of information this current group and all no need to use this current group function no need to use in this summarize function this current group function we need to use in this group by function thanks guys